Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night. It is the Earthmaster here, October 15th, 2024, 1041 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity shows a 4.5 down here off the coast of Mexico. Uh, coming in within the last hour, but previously we've seen another earthquake out here, 5.2 earthquake along the uh, fracture zone out here. Now this fracture zone is in an area, let me show you guys right here. Uh, it's gonna be off of the Pacific Plate and the Cocos Plate boundary. These fracture zones normally add further strain out here uh, when we do have earthquake activity across the Middle America Trench. And looks like that's fairly obvious right here across the area right now. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this region. It's showing some elevated activity. Again, the latest one, a 4.5 earthquake. Uh, just off the coast there of Mexico. And uh, let's see here. Is that a new quake coming in? Or is that the uh, previous one? That looks like that. Uh, well, that, that may actually be a new quake coming in, it looks like. You guys see that? Another 5.0 back here, much further away from that fracture zone. So that would be right uh, somewhere out in this area. There's a couple different fracture zones out here. The Pacific Plate, goodness, it's a huge plate, but there's a lot going on underneath of it right now. Um, let me bring up the EMSC model, see what we got going on here with that latest earthquake. Uh, again, kind of a little interesting. This is coming off of the US or the uh, EMSC model, five point or well, 4.9. got downgraded here a little bit west of the area of current activity here uh, source parameters have not yet re uh, been reviewed by seismologists we're waiting on that looks like the uh, Germany folks there and the EMSC France is uh, reporting the earthquake but uh, not gonna be anyone out there right to, for testimonies so uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the USGS reports, but uh, some interesting activity taking place out here. Uh, as far as it affecting Southern California, not so much right now. Uh, one of the latest quakes here outside of Mexicali, south of the border for a 1.9. Not, uh, not seeing any elevated activity out here right now across Southern California, but again, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump here in terms of the plate tectonics. Uh, so we'll see if anything gets on the uptick here following that uh, earthquake down south there. Quite a bit of interesting movement. I uh, got some swarming occurring right here near Pinnacles. Some ones stirring up out here. Now that is on the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault, which obviously uh, creeps along in terms of locking up compared to the rest of the, uh, the uh, plate boundary. This is fairly common to see earthquake activity out here in this fashion. San Francisco, one earthquake here outside of the uh, area. Looks like that is on the plate boundary though, on the San Andreas Fault for a 1.1 earlier this morning. And a um, handful of smaller quakes out here through Northern California. A couple earthquakes there into the uh, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone from earlier this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the Cascadia trimmer activity. See if we got anything of uh, any significance going on here, zero. Not a nothing going on here in terms of any type of tremor being reported. All right. Uh, further up and about here, Washington area, still seeing a handful of smaller quakes across the Mount St. Helens area, but really nothing major. Yellowstone, one earthquake this morning there, 1.8. Real quick glance here at the Yellowstone overview shows us that, uh, well, there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity. 1.8 is going to be this earthquake here this morning. Aside from that, some uh, maybe some very small microquakes out there. This is some type of wind event that stirred up there in the uh, afternoon time period. Texas oil fields getting hit out here once again. Uh, New Madrid seismic zone in the eastern portion of the country here. Most of these earthquake uh, earthquakes here from earlier this morning. Nothing new to report out here. Uh, Alaska starting to get busy up here again, it looks like, all through the Cook Inlet area, stretching up into Anchorage towards Denali. Uh, even got a little bit of activity up here across the Brooks Range. 
mainly small microquake activity. There's some twos and threes in there throughout the last 24 hours, but noticing an increase in earthquake activity out here across the area. Um, I do want to double check Earthquakes Canada real quick. Uh, Canada, see what's going on up here to the north. Where, uh, oh, there's a fairly recent earthquake up here. Bring the legend up here. Um, Northwest Territory has seen a, actually, that's in the uh, Watson Lake area. It looks like five pointer, or no, five point uh, zero for the depth, four pointer in terms of the earthquake activity. And this was coming in, it looks like earlier today. So a little bit of movement up there. Uh, as far as the Cascadia subduction zone, northern end, getting a little bit of swarming up here in the last couple weeks or so. A couple new earthquakes out there in this area, but really nothing major that I can see uh, stirring up out there for now. But uh, we are getting some increasing movement up here across uh, uh, the Yucatan area. Yukon area. Uh, further out and about here, Kermadec Trench seeing a little swarm of activity here this evening and early afternoon. A couple fives stirring up out there across this area of the Kermadec Trench. Far as uh, New Zealand goes, uh, they're lacking activity right now. Somewhat of a deep earthquake here in South Island, 3.4. Um, some fives up here across the rest of the plate boundary, the western edge of the Pacific Plate. Fairly shallow earthquake activity. Uh, one earthquake there in the Curl Kamchatka Trench, 4.2 earthquake, fairly recent. Let's see here, well, nothing showing up here on the USGS map, but it is on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Hawaii, that's been the awfully quiet, but that's been a quiet spot here recently. Not a whole lot going on. No major unrest. No, um, no unusual activity to note of out there for now. See what else we got across the rest of the world here. Chava Trench seeing a little increasing activity, although halting right about here. 4.4, um, the latest earthquake there. Some movement across the Himalayas as well. Older activity across the Mediterranean, but still fairly active. This has been an area of interest here recently with elevated movement. Nothing big going on, but notice a, uh, an increasing uh, multitude of quakes there in the last couple days. South Sandwich Trench here with a 4.9. And um, South America doing its thing down there. That's where we always see a lot of threes, even some fours on any given day. Nothing new across that area. But goodness, the Middle America Trench here looks like it's wanting to move pretty significantly. Uh, even with this odd 4.9 across the plate or off of the plate boundary. I'd still like to know... Uh, if the USGS is going to pick up on this quake, because that's a rather odd one. And in an interesting spot. Let's see what we got for historical data out there. Bring this up here and you guys can see uh, where we're at. Well, I guess we do get some earthquake activity out here. Although not all that common. It mainly follows the plate boundary here, but... This is going to be the area where that odd earthquake is uh, coming in right now, 4.9. And, uh, you know, who knows if it's even a legit earthquake. I'm not seeing anything show up out here across the uh, seismograph stations. And even a 4.9, though, that would, that would show up there potentially on the Southern California station. Uh, and I'm not seeing it. So who knows if it's even a legit earthquake. The EMSC, a lot of times, similar to the GeoNet servers, throw out an earthquake. And then it gets later removed because it was not even a real earthquake. Something triggered it or it was uh, some type of uh, technical issue. But we'll watch that. We'll check back in the morning for that. Um, either way, it's still somewhat active out here across the Middle America Trench and uh, the Cocos Plate here. Keep an eye on the Southern California area. All right, uh, what do we got here for space or uh, yeah, space weather activity? Flaring right now, it looks like, with some M-flare activity from that 
Still earth facing side sunspot. Nothing major. Looks like a, a low grade M flare coming in from that area. That's going to be sunspot number, looks like 3852 here. Maybe with just one giant sunspot area now. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. That is really the only sunspot area out here that harbors any potential for uh, any you know stronger flaring. The rest of the region there has we've lost all those large sunspots, so they're out there on the far side of the sun now, and we're left with a whole lot of openness going on out here. Let's go ahead and check out the far side of the sun real quick. Far side watch. This is updated fairly recent. Watching this area right here, a fairly massive region, 3842 and 3844. That's the name of the sunspots that were out here. Um, it's been about a week or so since they've gone off the uh, western limb here. We'll see them out here on the eastern limb in about another week or so. Uh, and if it holds steady like this, it looks like those are actually a fairly decent, uh, decently active sunspot region in terms of size. Don't know for certain, though, on, on terms of complexity. No major wars in the forecast, as noted. A little bit of amplification coming in right now, but really nothing big. And uh, there's your flare threat. 10% chance there for an X-flare. M-flare at 55. C-flare around 99% chance or so. Uh, far as uh, weather patterns out here goes, we got some cooler, welcoming some cooler weather out here in California. Chances of rain limited up here into the mountain range. Um, and, uh, but, but I'm very thankful for the cooler weather coming in. Looks like, uh, maybe another cooler pattern coming behind that. And another one as we head towards the 24th or so for California. It's our, it's getting into our rainy season here. It should really start to pick up November, December, January, February. Those are four of our wettest months. You know, for example, like out in Texas and Oklahoma, they get most of their rainfall in the springtime when all these thunderstorms pop up. But uh, this is our rainy pattern, and it should be uh, picking up here. And it looks like it's doing, going to be doing something here with a pretty uh, nice pattern change as we head towards the end of October. I will welcome that with wide open arms and open windows. Love the cooler weather, that's for sure. Uh, nothing major going on here across the Atlantic for now in terms of uh, hurricane activity. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick, though. Uh, low percentage for Disturbance 2 down here. Disturbance 1 has a uh, fairly medium 50% chance there of tropical formation here in the next seven days. This is going to be something to watch. I don't think it's going to get caught up here in the patterns and head out towards the states. Uh, I can already see some of the jet stream out here. If anything, going to get pulled out and off that direction. Let's um, switch over here to the um, North Atlantic here. We'll check this out. It's going to be right around here, it looks like. Put that into motion. And it, actually, the GFS model is not really showing anything at all, uh, which is good news, right? Look at that massive high pressure Atlantic out here. Goodness, that will keep everything flat and squashed here. Keep any tropical development way south of the states um, and the east coast here. That is a huge old area of high pressure. Goodness. Look at that monster low pressure up there across this area of the globe. Goodness. So notice all these pattern changes, the lines here getting tight, all the pressure differences out here. It's uh, the fall season, heading into the winter season here, and things start to get mixed up, and goodness, that's uh, that's good. A lot better than just being stale and, uh, you know, really not doing anything. So I'm looking forward to the winter. I'm a big-time winter fan. Bring it on. Summertime, not so much. All right, uh, seismograph stations out here look pretty quiet for now. Not a whole lot going on. We'll see how today go or see how tonight goes. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Now that earthquake is still holding steady. It's still on the map. There's a 4.9, so something something's happening out there. If you look here, also in the Gulf of California, working its way up northward, uh, we got some fours and threes out here in this area. 
hasn't quite made it up to Southern California in terms of the elevated uptick, but uh, we'll continue to watch that area. You know, not, not a whole lot showing up here on the USGS map, but it is there uh, throughout the last 24 hours. It just seems like it wants to halt uh, roughly around this area right now, but things can change, right? All it takes is a little bit of adjustment and uh, we'll get things moving back up here again. Alrighty, have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning for the uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday morning update. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. So have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there.